A month ago, Cloud Code was the talk of the tech world. And if you're watching this video, you probably considered getting a subscription yourself. But then you notice something. Reddit is filling up with frustrated users who are hitting limits, dealing with weight pricing, and looking for something better. You're researching a better alternative and you came across Warp. But before you commit, you want to know how these two AI coding tools compare. And that's exactly what we'll do in this video. Cloud Code is Anthropic's terminal-based AI coding assistant. You describe what you want in plain English, and it creates a plan, writes the code, and ensures it works. But it's purely a CLI tool. When it generates code, you're looking at text output in your terminal. Want to make a quick edit? You'll either need to write another prompt using more credits, or accept the generated code, and then make the tweaks in your editor. Neither option feels like the smooth experience you would expect. Warp takes a different approach. It's a full agentic development environment that helps you build, test, and deploy code with AI. You type your prompt, just like with Claude. The AI generates code, just like Claude, but instead of terminal text, Warp includes a complete code editor with syntax highlighting, where you can see actual diffs you can review. Need to make small tweaks, just edit it right there. No extra prompts and no jumping between terminal and editor. For the more traditional workflow, you can also navigate to any file directly using command P and start editing. Now you're probably wondering, does this different approach affect capabilities? Well, here's what the benchmarks show. Warp currently ranks number one on Terminal Bench, outperforming both Cloud Code and Google's Gemini CLI in real-world developer coding tasks. On SWE Bench Verified, where AI agents fix real GitHub issues without any handholding, Warp sits in the top five at 71%. Even the best agents don't hit 100%, so 70% plus is seriously impressive for both these tools. Now, Cloud4 Opus does a jot Warp at 73, but there's a significant cost difference between running Cloud Opus and using Warp. We will dive into the actual numbers in just a moment, but first, let's look at how these tools handle your code base. When you prompt Cloud Code, it takes the smart approach of starting with a readme file or package.json file and then working its way through the code base. This is pretty good, but it is time and token consuming. And this rescanning is necessary when you start new Cloud Code instances. The community has found ways to work around it, but there's nothing out of the box. Warp does a better job because it pre-indexes your repository. But you don't have to worry as it doesn't store your code anywhere. It creates vectors of your file names. And when you ask a question, it matches your query to relevant files, reading their context from disk, and sends that as context to the LLM. No constant rescanning, no stored code, just smart file matching. Plus, Warp caches your frequently used prompts and responses. So when you're debugging and asking similar questions, you save time and credits. Next, let's talk about developer experience. Since Cloud Code is a CLI tool, it's limited to what your terminal environment provides. You type commands, get text output, and that's essentially it. You can use the Cloud Code extension to run multiple instances at once, but that's about the extent of the workflow enhancements available. Warp built their own environment from scratch, so they control everything. Want to implement a front-end change while creating a new backend server and updating docs? You just have to spawn three agents and let them work in parallel. Agents notify you when they need input or approval for coding changes. You can also open multiple panels to work on them simultaneously. Now Warp also has something called Warp Drive to connect to MCP servers, store reusable rules, and workflows. You can also share them with your team so when someone new joins, they get access to prompts that already know how your code base works. Finally, let's talk money because this is where many Cloud Code users get frustrated. Cloud Code starts at $20 for Pro built monthly, but here's where it gets confusing. They promise more usage than free, but won't tell you how much. They say Pro gives you at least 5x more than free tier, but the free tier limits change daily based on demand. So what exactly is 5x of a moving target? And if you want more, Max Plan starts at $100 for 5x more than Pro or $200 for 20x more than Pro. But since Pro's limits are already vague and dynamic, you're multiplying uncertainty. The only concrete example they give is that if you keep conversations short, Pro might get you around 45 messages every five hours. But that's followed by depending on Claude's current capacity. Even if you pay $200 per month, 
you're limited to 50 sessions per month. That's 50 five-hour blocks. They say it's the flexible benchmark and first case by case. So even the limits have limits that aren't really limits until they are. Devs are hitting these limits on a regular basis and they're not happy. Warp is more transparent with pricing. $18 monthly gets you 2,500 AI requests. Need more? The business plan at $60 monthly includes 10,000 AI requests, plus unlimited light AI requests that keep you coding even after hitting the main limit. All right, thanks for watching, and let me know in the comment section which AI coding tools should I compare next.